Come on holiday with us to Centre Park's Windfall Forest, June 2022. their minds and <laughs> so excited and um, Bill's got his own room um, with his own bathroom and Daisy and Stan are sharing they've got twin beds with their own bathroom for some reason they've just lost their minds that they have their own bathroom we ended up getting um, one of the is it it's not the super super fancy lodges it's like the one in between like next up from the normal one just because we've come in the second week of our half term it is so much cheaper, which is annoying really, isn't it? Because it's a great place for kids, but obviously like it's more expensive yeah. because everyone wants to come. You can hear how excited they are. Why don't you check it outside? Yeah. yeah. Back. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, we've come to Wingfell this time. I've always been to Sherwood. Um, when I was a little girl and stuff, and we've been before with the kids. Um, and I've worked with Centre Parks once before, it was before Covid now, um, but obviously this is all paid for ourselves, you, you should like know that by now with me, like if it's work I'll tell you but otherwise this is just a holiday that we've saved up for and I'm just so happy, so happy to be here. Um, <laughs> this kid is bouncing off the wall. <laughs> So we went on an electric boat this morning because you come in but you can't come into your lodge until four o'clock and um, so we did that this morning and went out for like kind of like an in-between lunch and dinner um, and you know I need the toilet I'm gonna go the one in my bedroom um, and yeah we've just been reaching around playing in like the kids play area and stuff and then we decided to come and like come now get unpacked at four even though you've got a queue for a little bit but it really wasn't that bad um you hear horror stories but honestly it was fine and now we just need to unpack and get everything put away um and we can just put our feet up because i'm knackered it's been a long day but we're here till friday so yeah should i give you a little tour might give you a little tour before we mess everything up actually so um come on okay so this is our lodge number 16 meadow view i think and you come in to like a porch area which i personally love because there's loads of room for shoes and if you have a buggy and stuff so handy loads of hooks for coats and bags and all that then in here you know all the good stuff mop just pan high chair if you need one that kind of thing and then in here we have a hoover and an iron which you know great useful got those things and then you come through here and it enters into like the rest of the lodge so first things first you've got a lovely big window here another high chair if you need one we are in a large seat of six, so we've got a table of six. I'm kicking myself because I've got chalk to bring and I've got it for the chalkboard. You okay? Um, can we unpack? Yeah, you can go and unpack. Yeah. Um, go, go and get some things with Daddy. Um, Dada. So they're going to unpack. <laughs> um, but then it's all open plan as you can see. So this is the kitchen, all like, you know, 
your mod cons and all that jazz. A little wine cooler, that's really similar to the one I've got at home, but a little bit bigger, I think. Um, toaster, kettle, and then in all your cupboards, you've got space for like food. And then you have usual like mugs in here. You've got cups, and then they're normally some glass ones, and yep, they still have the plastic ones, as I remember. And you've got like Prosecco glasses and normal wine glasses as well. You have an extractor for your hub, like oven. And I think, is there a light? I don't know, I've not worked that out yet, but you've got like a normal hub if you want to cook. And then obviously an oven with like a grill and stuff. It comes with a few tea coffee bits and a microwave as well. And then up here, more storage. Down here, more storage. It skews my excited kids. Um, here we have like pots and pans and plates and all that jazz. Um, fridge and freezer. It's a little like top freezer one. So you don't have loads of room, but to be honest, we normally eat out, out in like three years a holiday. Um, here we have a dishwasher, which is amazing. Have a little bin. I remember this little pull out one. And then you've got like cutlery, things like that you'll need. Um, more bits and bobs there. Um, very important item. Um, there's a coffee machine. It takes Tassimo. So you do get a few to begin with. Um, but you just add milk to these or you can buy some which I've done. I bought some flat white ones, but it's great that because you know, it's a bit fancier than your normal coffee um, so yeah. With a washing up tub and then like this is what comes so you get a few um, dishwasher tablets I bought a spare just in case like a few spares, but I probably won't need them Then you've got like a dishcloth a tea towel and oven gloves and then I also have bought things like fairy liquid and stuff and all that jazz for cleaning up with, which you will need to remember. Then down here is my and Mark's bedroom. Um, so that's equipped with like a telly, loads of wardrobe space, double bed, seat is just fine. And then we have our own like ensuite bathroom. So it's quite nice really, because if you are sharing with friends and family, then you've all got your own personal space. And then obviously you can move over to the living area. So you've got two, large sofas and an armchair and um, there's a little kind of fire type thing you can open it up and buy logs from the um park market so you basically light them in there it's so nice we've been mainly actually in autumn and winter and this is just so beautiful at night it's so lovely telly i think that has free view i would recommend bringing like a fire stick with you or something like that, that's what we normally do. You have a little table here if you need it, another little table there if you put your drinks on. This mural just is centre park to me. <laughs> I love it and I remember it from being like younger and there's more like imagery and stuff. A lamp, radiator, like curtains to block out like privacy and light and then out here you have your own patio area. So there's a step down. Enough chairs, we've actually got a spare one for seven. A barbecue if you want to use it. And just loads of like, there's privacy. You can see other lodges in the distance, but you're not like sat right next to each other. Do you know what I mean? So it'd be really nice to sit out here with like, I don't know, a glass of wine at night or something like that. Because um, like I said, we've never really been when it's been a bit warmer. So it's lovely. And then you go back in and then upstairs. I'll just do you a really quick run of upstairs because the kids are getting all excited in their rooms and I don't want to ruin it for them. But you come up, there's a cot if you need one. There's integrated baby gates, which I love. So there's one here, one down there, which if you've got younger children is a lifesaver. Mine are kind of past that now at four, six and nearly 10. Bill's 10 on Saturday and it's Monday. Um, but you come to a little landing, which is extra space if you want to put like suitcases here. There's a sauna. <laughs> which I don't remember as booking, but I don't, maybe it comes with these. So, I mean, that's a bit interesting. It's quite difficult to turn on, so I don't have any concerns about the kids using it, but me and Mark were like, what the hell? So yeah, that's uh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much we use that. It's quite bougie, isn't it? But anyway, that is there. 
This is Tracy and Stanley's room. We've you, got a and telly. Telly. You've got your telly. But how many we for? Oh, yeah, yes, I know. Um, so this is their room. They're unpacking all their things, aren't they? And then this is their bathroom. They actually have a spa bath. <laughs> This is ridiculous. So that'll be good fun for them, I'm sure. And then it has this lovely artwork mural. They have a light, which is backlit, which is great. Um, heated towel rail. We've already got towels on the floor, so it's like being at home. And then through here, finally, is Bill's room. <laughs> he's he's just so chill. He has a double bed. He's watching a bit of telly. Yeah. Got a nice view out here, out the window. Yeah. And you also have your own bathroom, don't you? And um, he has a shower. And that concludes the tour. I'm gonna go unpack now. leaves and stuff. Koala? Not yeah. koala. It, it can't climb, it can't climb. Can it climb? No. Do I have hair? No, not that one. The one above it. <laughs> Can I be eaten? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Am I a burger? No. No, no it's close. Uh. Wait, a sandwich! Yeah. yeah. day two or well, like our first proper day anyway and <laughs> we are off on our way to do some family go-karting which is very exciting and then we have a swim booked later as well and I think today's meant to be like the only nice-ish day really yesterday ended all right but we might be having some rain for the rest of the week but it's all right it's fine we didn't come here for like sunshine but um yeah I'll bring you along So hello again, I've got changed into something that's easier to chuck on um, because we are going swimming and I had like a dress on before. I go swimming if you want to go on this yeah. <laughs> Very excited. We've um, just had to wait for Mark to catch up with us because um, the kids have got their swimming stuff on but Stan neglected to pack himself any shorts for afterwards so he had to go back but we are all sorted In my ventures they brought me to places I've never been But you can walk through this world without So it is just, ah oh, look at all the queens, it is just me, Daisy and Stanley this morning because we are going to build some teddies while Dada and Bill are doing an aerial adventure across a lake which is amazing, so let's go. Things came up, things went down Maybe 
turn back around. And we are at the like main park here, which is obviously free. Um, the kids love it here. Um, and I don't know, I say a lot in my vlog, so like on Instagram and stuff, with our age gap sometimes, bearing in mind it goes from four to ten, um, it can be really hard finding stuff for all of the kids to do. Like, Bill doesn't want himself to play anymore, as an example, the other two do. So it's really difficult, but this park is like, there's a zip line, there's loads of climbing apparatus and like rope climbing stuff, so he does that kind of thing, and then there's loads of slides as well. And um, it's just so nice because we can come here and then we all have a really nice time. Um, I haven't got any makeup on by the way because I'm going to the spa in a little bit. We've decided, because um, boys did the aerial adventure this morning and did the zip line and stuff, I was gutted because they completed it faster than I anticipated so I didn't manage to catch them on the zip line at the end. But it's so cool. They loved it. They came out beaming from here to here. Phil really enjoyed it, didn't he? <laughs> it's incredible. And um, I'm off to the spa in a little bit and we're just going to grab sandwiches um, from the park market because they do like ready made sandwiches, don't they? Um, and Krispy Kremes, which you keep eyeing up. Um, so, yeah, that was what we're going to do. Having my Starbucks, which is always really nice because I prefer Starbucks to Costa generally. So, um, yeah, that is our day so far. I'm sorry I've not been doing as much chatting as normal but I'm just trying to do snippets so I can show you what it's like and then you can get like a feel for it and stuff and um, the teddy thing was really good this is Lily Daisy's teddy you get um, a outfit for the teddy or rabbit or whatever you choose included which I thought was really good and um, stealing <laughs> and yeah what are we doing you're all going bowling aren't you mm -hmm. I'm going to the spa and then we are going to Cafe Rouge for dinner which is like a French style place which I'm quite excited about yeah yeah so we're basically gonna be out here all day now until after we've eaten and then we're gonna go back to lunch and chill a bit because we were out fairly late last night and we we're all knackered because that's one thing about this holiday it is a holiday and it's amazing but you're just always busy and like doing something and it's dead good so, yeah. to our coffee shop Outside the sports plaza and there's a sports cafe there and there's a park here so we found this last night well no we found it on our first day but we walked past it on the way home last night and then it kind of felt like quite a nice combination of adults chilling and having a quick drink on the way home with like kids playing and having fun so that is what we're doing again tonight just making the most of it we went to cafe rouge for dinner which was actually really nice and top tip there's a secret play area above it the stairs are on the left hand side of cafe rouge and it's normally quite quiet um so if you ever go you can always make the most of that while you're waiting for your food and the kids because it just keeps them happy and therefore you're happy at the same time but um yeah, my facial was amazing. I got some bits, and um, I'll try and show you at another point. Uh, the Elemis gift sets are always really good value because Aquasana, the spa at Centre Parks, works in conjunction with Elemis, like as a partner. Um, so it's a really good deal. So I just thought, you know what, sod it. It's your holidays, um, and I feel like it's the equivalent of duty free or something. But it was amazing. I had the Elemis something and glow. Um, but it was so so nice um, it just felt amazing hence why I have no makeup on now but yeah it's really really good so good morning it is our last full day 
and look how amazing Daisy looks. Look at her. She got it braided, so you can pick three colours and how many beads? Three. Three. And you got pink, purple, and blue. And then those are your beads. But it was so good and so quick. Like we were there for about ten minutes, and it looks incredible. And you're so happy, aren't you? So that's what we've been doing. The boys are going to come and meet us now. It is so hot in here, so I've asked Mark to bring me a t-shirt. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go and get a coffee. Because um, the coffee machine didn't work this morning and we were in a rush, weren't we? So yeah, it's been so nice just to have a bit of girly time. I think she needed it. Oh, and I met a lovely lady, didn't we, this morning with her little boy um, who followed me. And it was so nice to just chat to her. We were just like walking along for a bit while we were going where we needed to go. And she was so lovely. So if she sees this, I just wanted to say thank you because she was so nice and it was so nice to meet you. But should we go and get a coffee and wait for the boys? our last day we've just played mini golf which i sucked at bill and mark were really good though and um, the kids all fleeced us at the uh, gift shop yeah. and um now we are on our way back i'm gonna get a coffee for the journey and got he'll got that <laughs> and um it occurred to me before that i know what this place reminds me of now and it's um <laughs> Kellerman's, she knew from Dirty Dancing. Now, I've not carried a watermelon and there's no way in hell Mark can do the lift with me, but it's just got that kind of vibe and it's just been so, so lovely. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and wish us luck for a good journey home. <laughs> 